It's been a freaking long ass year, but we finally made it. Today is the day. Today is Avengers Endgame Day. And you know what? It's already breaking records over in China. Everybody, welcome back to the channel once again. I'm Robert Storm. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to stay updated on all future content, especially this coming weekend with Avengers Endgame out. Um, gonna try to do the live spoiler-free discussion later on tonight. I'm gonna keep you guys all posted on that, so be sure to hit that bell notification. So, it opens up officially here today in the United States, but it already opened up, I believe, yesterday or the day before in China, and that's because, you know, the, the way the world works and the time zones and stuff like that. It already opened up now according to deadline avengers endgame came in on opening day opening day 107 million dollars on its opening day that is insane so deadline is reporting that this wednesday or this past wednesday wednesday update that china that in china um it broke a, a midnight milestone, and then the day of its actual release, it ended up grossing over $107 million. And this is coming from Deadline, uh, which is a new opening day record for China. They're also talking about that with this big opening, combined with the United States and around the world opening this coming weekend, that this movie could make a billion dollars its opening weekend. That's insane. Let, let, let that sink in. A billion dollars on its opening weekend. Now, we can't sit here and start popping the champagne and start celebrating because we don't know if this is going to be Avatar. There's a lot of excitement for this movie because people want to go see what happens with this movie. Um, so we don't know what the end result is going to be. It could easily break you know, $300 million domestically and then next week lose about 70% drop off, which will bring it into like what, 130 next week? So I don't want everybody to get too excited about these giant record numbers. I mean, it's fantastic. It's great to celebrate records, right? It's like, oh, my God, a billion dollars and and a weekend. And Just Lee couldn't do that in, like, five months. So, yeah, it, it's it's good to celebrate that stuff. But just want everybody to know, the bigger that number, possibly the bigger the drop-off the following week. We've seen this before with comic book films. It's not anything surprising. You're going to have trolls coming out next week going, oh, Infinity or uh, Endgame dropped, uh, you know, 80% because it made $300 million. Everybody wanted to go see it the first weekend. Just like, just like with the whole Captain Marvel thing, like how Captain Marvel dropped like 75% on Sunday to Monday because everybody went back to work, you idiots. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, Avengers Endgame breaking China's opening day record with $107 million. That's insane. That's why I tell you guys, China's a big market. A big market. That's why I told everybody who's counting on China for the Elite of Battle Angels sales. I was like, look, if it doesn't make the money in China, it's not going to break even. And it didn't. Because China, besides the United States, China is the second biggest market. So that's what a lot of these filmmakers try to cater toward China now, is try to get that, that market. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Yeah, so the question now is, with it breaking all the records, can it be Avatar? Can it be Titanic? I want it more than anybody. I want it to be Avatar just to shove it in James Cameron's shitty-ass fucking face. But I don't know if that's possible because I feel like everybody's going to see this movie on opening weekend or in the second weekend, and I, it's going to rely on repeat viewings. Everybody's got to go back and see this movie multiple times. The reason why Avatar made so much money because Avatar was in the theater for an entire year. Most movies now, they're in the theater for about three months, and they're not on Blu-ray, you know, three months later. So it's like they only have a three-month window to make money in the theater. And if people don't go back and see this and see this and see this, it's not going to make that money. Avatar stayed in theater for a year. You know, Titanic stayed in theaters for, like, what, almost a year, if not a year? And then it got re-released, like, five million times. So... Yeah, it's really going to come up to repeat viewing. So if you want to help it be Avatar, you're going to have to go see it like a bajillion times. I know I'm already planning to see it at least five or six times myself, and that's not even seeing it the first time to see how it is. But anyway, guys, uh, just wanted to let you guys know Avengers Endgame already breaking records. 
already breaking records. I'm getting ready to go see it. I'm going to be leaving to go to the theater here in about an hour or two and um, go wait in line because I don't have reserved seating at my theater. But I do have my ticket, so that's one good thing. So anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, once again, hit the bell notification because if I decide to do the spoiler-free live stream, you guys can all check it out and get the notification. Until next time, as always, I'm Robert Storms, and that's my opinion.